All right, all right, ladies, gentlemen, citizens of the Empire, how you doing today? I hope you're doing all right, because I'm doing just fine, and we're back with the Outer Worlds. We're going to get the hell out of here, off, off of Scylla. I need to repair my armor, don't I? All right. <clears throat> what, is, what is this? What does this do? Is this just how Ada sees what the, uh, who's at the, like, the front door or something? Oh, God. Oh no. So then I told him, oh, ha ha ha, that tickles. How odd. No, don't desist. I think I might like it. Oh my god. Your data collection is required for accurate assessment. Ada? You, 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 you decent? <laughs> what a mess. Oh my what god. A mess. <laughs> okay um jesus christ let me let me let me see oh i need to level up still um Ooh, fuck huh okay She needs something else. What does this do? Healing. Okay. Felix. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Hmm. Uh, I keep doing that. Nioka. Pravati, let's see what you got. Uh, yeah, se second win for everybody. How about that? Let's just do that. Because, you know, that helps save me some uh, time. Acquire the science weapon on the groundbreaker. Find Captain... All right, so we, we're still over Scylla. We can do that. Welcome back. Oh, no, Hi. I didn't mean to do that. Shit. Bye. Take care. This is the navigational term terminal. Destination reached. Scylla. All right, so... Who have I got on my team? And let's go with Ellie. Can we talk? Uh, yeah, what's up? What did I tell you? Harlow's down with a man stick was just an act. No one who yammers that much means half of it. Right, uh, hard to know who to trust. Uh, don't sound excited. That was Felix's friend. Take a page out of my rule book. Don't trust anyone. Then it's easy. Oh, you don't trust me? Just because Harlow turned out to be a crook doesn't mean everyone's like that. Don't get all mushy on me now. Come on, what did we just learn? People look out for their own interests. It's a fundamental law of nature. Same Where as gravity you grew and up, conservation maybe? of motion. You can't live your life thinking the worst of everybody, except we've created artificial gravity. <laughs> um, that's correct. Hmm. This is why I hate metaphors. <laughs> Look, I see a lot of people, inside and out. When you get down to it, we're all made of the same stuff. Yeah. Once you accept that, nothing much surprises you. Maybe you're right. I'd, ra I'd rather try it for something better. Ever consider that looking out for others can be in your best interest? I'm warning you, that reverse psychology stuff doesn't work on me. Uh, even you never really go it alone. 
usually throw your lot in with a crew. Uh, it's got to get lonely over there looking out for yourself. Sure do. And unlike you, Captain, the rest of us don't get a big fancy room with wall-to-wall -wall windows. But let's forget about that, please. Anyway, you really want to tell me you're helping the scientist because you think he'll save the colony? As a matter of fact, I am. I'm not explaining myself to you. No, but that's not the point. <laughs> and here I thought I'd seen it all. This galaxy must be bigger than I'd thought. Enough about Harlow, though. Anything else? You wanted to talk to me. What? <laughs> all right, let's uh, let's go, girls. Now, I came over this way at one point, so... Oh, this is a shrink ray. Oh my god. <laughs> Just tore off most of his limbs. Yeah, I did come over this way, or close to it. Hey, outlaw. You know, you didn't have to shoot me down. Okay, I, I guess we're doing this then. Okay. Oh shit. Am I over encumbered? I am. What's got me over encumbered? Whatever, I guess that works. Let me just take his ammunition. Hello. Tremendous work, friend. Here I was readying a daring maneuver, and you've come and saved me the trouble. Why does that sound familiar? Ah, uh -oh, it's Ellie. Excellent timing. Hello, Ellie. What a pleasure it is to see your sparkling beauty in this barren waste. It's Dr. Fenhill. Uh, we don't have time for this. I certainly know his ex-crew. Mostly from the operating table. I've probably seen more of them than he has. How cruel you are. I distinctly remember a special party at the Lost Hope Bar on Groundbreaker where we... We did not. <laughs> oh, fine. But we almost... Keep going and you're gonna see how good this automech is at picking up teeth. Symptoms detected. Elevated heart rate, dilated pupils, increased sweat production. Subject appears to be terrified. <laughs> I'm not terrified, you bucket of bolts. That's victory sweat. Meds, I'm guessing. Pirates love bits, and unlabeled meds are worth a bundle. Uh... What will you do now? What will the corporation? Uh, what corporation do you work for? Who are these meds for? Supposed to be for the groundbreaker, but getting shot tends to hinder one's delivery plans. <laughs> hey, who are you calling bootleg? You? I'll have you know these are one hundred percent genuine stolen drugs. <laughs> Because the board, in all their herpetological wisdom, will only sell the meds at a huge markup. Groundbreaker knows better than to pay board prices. Not when they've got me running for them. More importantly, they can't afford to. Right. The one and only. 
Uh, wait, who's asking? Wanda didn't send you, did she? I swear, land on Groundbreaker even a moment tardy, and that busybody's already been up your ass an hour. You tell her these Automechs are coming, and sending a hired stooge to rescue me from certain peril only furthers my delay. No offense. Yes, well, I shan't. Give Wanda my chilliest regards. And farewell to you, dear Dr. Fenhill. I trust I'll see you next I find myself on the Groundbreaker. You'd better hope not. Guess that's, uh, how that's gotta be. <laughs> there anything in here? Oh, quite a bit of ammo. Oh my god, I hate doing that. Okay. Ba oh, back to the groundbreaker. Okay, that makes more sense. A lot more sense. But, maybe, makes more sense to delete that. I should, really? God damn it. There we go. I'm gonna put every piece of clothing I have into the into a locker. And what what flintlock did he give me? I I got one of his guns. Huh. Interesting. It's also a lot of ammo I got for it, so maybe we'll have to end up using it at one point. Just when we thought we were getting off this planet. But I, I think we surely are now. Wait, is the elevator not there? It's that one there? Or, fuck. Sorry about that little delay. Let's now let's get the hell out of here. Okay. Let's uh let's put it in this locker. Why not? This is Provati's stuff, Vicar Max's stuff. Nice hat. Fucking love that. You know what? Let's actually... I want to see how it looks. Nice. Kind of look like sunglasses. Right, to the Groundbreaker. I wish this cursor moved a little bit faster. We've arrived at the Groundbreaker. Yes, indeed, we have. Right, let's deliver these meds. Hopefully they don't have anything else for us. Nope, that's not. Well, well, Dr. Fenhill. It's not often I see you on this side of sick bay. I make it a point not to get shot, and when I do, I can usually take care of the mess myself. It'd be nice to have you in here, patching people up, not just blowing them apart. I respect what you're doing here, but you know I'm not ready to settle down. It's not you, it's me. 
Have it your way, then. You always do. Now, about your friend here. Were I a gambling woman, I'd wager you're responsible for my mechanical safe return. Yep. I can't thank you enough. Okay. Yep, and this is going to Byzantium now. Okay, back inside. Oh, we can also help Pravati out. Because we're finally over Byzantium. We are now in orbit above Byzantium, Captain. Mm-hmm. And our two companions have two missions here. Right here we are, finally. Been a long time coming. Are you still tinkering with that? It's not gonna fix itself. Don't we have repair drones for that kind of thing? This was a repair drone. <laughs> yeah. Can I help you, or are you? No, you're not coming to talk to me. Good. Let's, uh, let's repair everything. Okay. Oh, wait, she's down here. Do you mind? I'm meeting someone. Yeah, you're meeting me. I, oh, oh, you mean I'm supposed to be meeting you? Mm-hmm. Let's keep moving. You have information for me. Nothing, it's just, I thought you'd be taller. Anyway, let's not get hung up on that. The Phoenix is a wanted man and the board has eyes everywhere in Byzantium. Uh, let's get this over with. You have information. Who's the Phoenix? Yeah, that's my code name for, you know, our mutual friend. Oh. Oh. I'm Golden Eagle. And me? Um, yeah. I named you Cuckoo. Seriously? <laughs> no, no way. That doesn't even make. Fine. Fine. Does this mean I'm supposed to have one too? Fine, but make it a really good one. <laughs> Let's go with Rufus Hummingbird. Forget it. Code names are for amateurs anyway. Too late. I've already marked it off. Can't just go reassigning code names. Oh, 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 can I be chicken? Because chickens will adopt any critter's baby and keep them warm. Oh, you that's sure you so don't want to be raven or sparrowhawk? Aw. Okay, okay. Chicken it is. <laughs> anyway, you're looking to make contact with Minister... Uh, Magpie, right? I should warn you, it won't be easy. He spends most of his time in this estate, which is heavily guarded. Uh... There's gotta be a way to catch the Minister someplace less protected. Can't you get me into the Minister's estate? How exactly do I... Uh, did you get involved in this anyway? I've always been fascinated by birds. If you ever research earth species, there are thousands of them. So colorful and distinct. That's not what I meant. Here we got 11 flavors of terror rays and not much else. That kind of variety? I mean, gosh, seems almost impossible. The other thing about birds, though, is their environmental indicators. Exactly. I started thinking about everything we see around Halcyon and all the things we don't see. 
For starters, you rarely come across anyone living in Byzantium who wasn't born here, even though we get ships in all the time. Trust me, anyone with a lick of sense gets out of here as soon as possible. But most people don't. In fact, most people stay exactly where they start. Doesn't that seem strange to you? No, it seems like late stage capitalism. <laughs> that, that's exactly what late stage capitalism does. <laughs> And then there's the way nothing gets fixed. There used to be a suggestion box around here. People would drop ideas in. Nothing ever came of them, of course. Seems pretty normal, actually. Sure, that part is. That's why they install shredders in those boxes, after all. But one day, the shredder broke. No one came to fix it. And since it wasn't working, we didn't have anywhere to file our complaints. So you can imagine how messy things got. I bet your repair folks couldn't find parts. Back in Edgewater, I'd have to take something apart just to put another thing back together. Might have been the paperwork. Here, you have to append forms to your forms, and law help you if there's a single dash out of place. Oh, fuck me. A regular tragedy. At first, management put up an out-of-order sign, but that just seemed to worry people. Like they were advertising something wasn't working. They eventually took the whole suggestion box sign down so that people didn't have any expectations about it. But they never fixed it, never replaced it. Doesn't that seem odd to you? I uh, know that's how things around here, around Helcyon are in, ca uh, uh, in case you didn't notice. If you ask me, the suggestion box was pretty useless to begin with. <laughs> Except that's not how they go. At least that's not how they're supposed to go in Byzantium. The whole episode made me wonder, if they can't fix something as simple as a suggestion box, what else aren't they fixing? After a while, I got connected with our mutual friend and started using my position here to feed him information when I could. That's it, really. Okay. Uh, there's gotta be some way, yeah, okay. Afraid not. He almost never leaves his home and his guards never leave him. Can't say I blame him. It's scary out of doors. I mean, can you even count how many times we've been shot at? What <laughs> works, specialists, huh? Our mutual friend is really branching out. Yeah, we've killed a lot of people. Whoa, I'm not one of your B and E specialists. I just provide intelligence. <sighs> That's debatable. Some of the guards hang around Billingsley's house of inebriation between shifts. That place is still open. I used to study there during medical school. Maybe you could do some reconnaissance there. You know, swipe a key while nobody's looking. Thanks for the tip. That's theft, not reconnaissance. Whatever. I'm better with bird terms. All right. Good hunting, Golden Eagle. Back out we go. Wait. Okay. Okay, so I don't go through here. It must be the other way. here for once nothing wrong with stability it means everything's running like clockwork what's up don't you ever want a little <laughs> fun maybe see a marauder ship get blown to bits overhead what a okay thing to say. never mind everyone knows marauders can't fly hey you yeah you yeah want to be famous sure Kid, you got presents Natural magnetism, know what I mean? I like where this is going. Tell you what, you're gonna like it a whole lot more once we start talking bits. Listen, uh, you got an agent? Some kind of representation? 
fresh natural talent, I know it when I see it. Listen, you got a real special quality, raw energy. I see you in pictures, kid. I'm making a feature, Space Pirates of Moros Prime. It's gonna be a hit, but we still need a star. And I think you got the chops. All right. Not so fast. First, we gotta talk about royalties. Listen to her. Let's just see where this audition goes, huh? So what do you say? You ready for the chance of a lifetime? Screw it, why the hell not? Terrific, we're holding auditions at the studio. Head to Odeon Pictures and take the elevator. You're going all the way to the top, baby. All right, well, that's the equipped quest, I think. No, it is not. Uh, shit, what was it called? Uh, and it went away the moment I got out of there. All right, so it's over that way. According to local legend, if you walk around the orrery three times, your corporate rival will die of a paper cut. You think I'd get arrested if I climbed up on that to get a look at the gearings? Uh, you'd probably be yeah, shot. Probably just shot. <laughs> I guess I predicted it. The dissidents actually took over the refinery. Spacer's choice. I can't believe it. it. Hmm. Luxury then, munitions. The chairman shot their space shuttle. Hello. Greetings. Looking for weapons? You've come to the right place. Every Byzantine needs high quality armaments, and you won't find better anywhere else. All right, oh. Uh... Why? To defend their property, of course. 50 Bit says he's got a hard on right now. Please. Byzantium no. <laughs> is the best of what Halcyon has to offer. It's up to us to protect it. Marauders, dissidents, especially large sprats. One never knows what threat might arise. Right. Only because we make it so. It is only the fear of the well-armed Byzantine that keeps the rabble at bay. You mean not the gunships that are probably up in orbit around the place and the exceeding wealth of the city? Indeed. Now, what are you in the market for, my fine friend? Right. Um, let's trade. Does that do more damage than what I got? That doesn't. Alright, so we at least know where to come to get some mods. Pink slip! <laughs> Holy shit! That's great! Fucking grenade launcher to steal? Right? Let's uh let's go to our audition. I'm afraid I can't come down anymore, my good man. I'd have to request a counter waiver. I'll see on parcels. Okay, where are we heading? Over this way? Oh my god, damn it. We're not gonna do this, are we? Promise me. My cousin what do you mean? Pictures. That business makes piracy look civil. Well, if it's that bad, might as well have some fun. Okay. We gave the other actors real weapons to keep things authentic. And because Josh is paying to see their logo on the big screen. I can work with that. See, I knew you'd get it. Now go in there, find your mark, and show us what you got. 
Alright, hold on one second. This clicking is driving me insane. Come on! Really? There we go. Seriously, I hate this fucking thing sometimes. There we go. Alright, note. Well, well. Here to stop us at last, Captain Steel? You're too late. All of this settlement CNP hungry time food pills, same nutritional value, but now with added filler, are ours. <laughs> God with their damn. patented stomach stuffing effects and baseline vitamin content, we will be nigh unstoppable. Uh, joke's on you, idiot. Those crates are just decoys. They, they are? What an unexpected twist. You may have fooled me for now, but not for long. Can I shoot someone? Wait, are we the good guys or the bad guys? I have no clue. Doesn't matter. I want to shoot someone. Do you remember the last time we faced each other? The Battle of Axajax, staring one another down across the void of space while flaming debris fell like rain around us. What of it? Remain stoically silent? The thing you just described are scientifically impossible. Oh my god. Hey, I didn't write this. Just go with it. I had you surrounded and outgunned, but you overcame my superior numbers with tactical <gasps> thinking and a Hammersmith limited edition grenade launcher. I've been waiting for five years now, and at last my day for vengeance has come. Uh, you ran like a coward then, and you'll run now, if you know what's good for you. Um, exert <laughs> wordless fury! Oh my god. I, oh, I just got chills. But still, you'll not stop me now. All right, let's kill him. <laughs> I have this whole port wired with some micro energon transistors. Once we're away, I'll activate the gamma particulate field and the quantiponic chain reaction will turn this whole place into vaporized plasma. Most of those words are just made up and what? And the ones that are real don't work like that. Plasma's already a vapor-like kind of thing. You can't revaporize it. Can you? Quiet. You're supposed to be an extra. I hope you've paid your burial fees and signed your personal death and dismemberment waivers because this is the end for you. You need to sign a waiver for death and dismemberment? I... Line... Never mind, I think that's seen. To the break room, everyone. I need my Moab fizzy tea. Oh, I wanted to kill you. Cut, cut. You son of a bitch. That was fantastic. With actors like you, who needs writers? Take five. I wanted to kill him. <laughs> oh, you bastard. There's my star. Walk and talk with me. Okay, hold on, buddy. I just want to take all of your ammunition. All right, I think that's it. That was brilliant stuff. Do you write your own material? Uh, just tell me what's next. You bet. Amazing. Just firm up that jawline, and you'll be a triple threat. I'm gonna have to fire the writing staff. What do those anemic fuckwits know about dialogue anyway? I'm thinking a whole new script. 
More pirates, bigger explosions. You flicking a stogie slim into a barrel of gasoline. My yes. Says that kind of action sells tickets. Here, this is for your work today. I'll be in touch once we get that script. Sweet. Let's do more of this sl schlocky ass shit. Oh my god. And the board fucking loves me because of it. Oh my god. God oh, damn. Alright, let's um... Oh shit! I forgot to go help Nioka out. Damn! Alright, that's... that's okay. We gotta leave here at one point anyway. All right. Oh, no. Where is... There it is. Citizens, today marks a monumentous occasion in the course of Halcyon history. Out with it, you wretched contraption. After a deep and thorough examination of our budgets... I'll sue every technician and employee who's ever touched this damned device. Successful. Don't they know who I am? This is all so very beneath me. I guess that's not going to work to help him. In the coming months, Byzantium will be sure to see the many rewards reaped from your diligent labor. Oh, nope, not this way. Once we nail down the details, what's I gone into the box? Share what's in store. For now, my friends, I've always loved that skull. You with the hips over here. With the Let's hips. Let's get a look at you. Are you talking to me, Ellie, or Pravati? Because, well, I mean, I tried to make my character thick, but, you know, you don't have that many options. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Don't speak. Hold that posture for a moment while I admire you. You have a natural contraposto, my dear. Thank you. The way you rest your weight against your hip suggests a certain rugged charisma possessed only by the mighty primal and the well-traveled spacer. Splendid. I love it. I am it. the second one. I am the second one. Ah, oh, Celeste, you've done it again. I knew from the moment I laid eyes on you that I'd found my muse. Well, thanks. I'm Celeste Jolicoeur, and you, my dear, are exactly what Byzantium needs. Am I about to get laid in a clothing store? Are you trying to sell me something? Byzantium needs to be taken apart brick by brick. Darling, you and that brutish swagger of yours have been on my mind the moment you stepped into my studio. I'm working on a new line of clothing that will shock this city to its core, and I'd like your help. What do you say, my dear? Care to make history with me? Sure. Oh, uh, you got a high opinion of... Uh opinion of someone you just met everything I need to know can be deduced from a first impression okay you're an outsider you're exotic you carry a whiff of barbarism and adventure you're the embodiment of everything I want in my new line what you got in mind when I look at you I see the very embodiment of everything the walls of Byzantium were built to keep out Thanks. Making an outfit worthy of you won't be easy. I'll need your help gathering the right materials. Okay. Marvelous! You and I are gonna wake this city up like a cold splash of wine to the face! What I need is a survey of the outside world. What does the common laborer wear? How do the wild-eyed madmen of Monarch dress themselves? I've heard rumors, but I require samples. Also, I expect you to model for me. 
uh, what benefit what's the benefit of seeing me wear it any excuse to admire my looks huh can't blame you oh you cad you'll be the talk of Byzantium once I'm done with you I'll need you to model for me the following the apparel of an iconoclast the armor of a marauder and a full ensemble of spacer gear helmet included and when I say spacer gear I mean an outfit worn by real spacers. None of that garbage spacers choice pedals. You have the bearing and demeanor of a born model. You're going to absolutely murder this job. Okay. I can do that. Wait. I expect you'll cut an exquisite figure. What else do you need to know? Um. I've heard rumors of these iconoclasts. Half mad zealots rampaging across the surface of Monarch. Yeah. You'll have to find your own way into Monarch. I can't help you. Even if I could, I prefer not to interfere with your creative process. Of course, of course. <sighs> I don't know. I've never seen a Marauder. Not in person, anyway. There are always Aetherwade programs, but I want something authentic. Byzantium is long overdue for a change of wardrobe, my dear. Something barbaric, yet I elegant. mean, technically, I'm wearing Marauder gear right now. If I were an enterprising spacer in need of a wardrobe, I'd probably head to the Groundbreaker. Fabulous! I can't wait to see what you dredge up. All right. Well, uh, where am I supposed to find spacer gear? If I were an enterprising... Oh, okay. You don't gotta be so forward about my reasons, Captain. Let me get a good look at you. Turn around, please, darling. My word. Such muscular shoulders. You're a vision, dear. Uh, I am no such thing, ma'am. Nonsense. Oh, so You're precious. absolutely lovely. Chin up now. I have just the thing for you. Let me do a back of the envelope calculation. Materials, labor, licensing, and copyright. Why is that there. included? She's uh, an engineer. You think she can afford that? Just need to impress her true love. Fees for licensing and copyright. Cut the bullshit and show me a fair price now. Captain, please don't do this again. Oh, no. Aren't you a brute? But you're in luck, darling. I enjoy a brute now and again. They shake things up, create the unexpected. All right, Captain. Here is the absolute best I can do for you. Darling, do I look like an amateur? I read her measurements by eye. And don't you ask, because they're no one's business but her own. I mean, I think she wants to know what they are, though. There are some things I simply cannot skimp on, darling. Such a lovely young lady deserves the best. Now stand back. Back, back. I'll enter the settings and get these machines spinning. You'll be broke to bespoke in nearly an hour. Okay. And there we are, my darling girl. I wish you a splendiferous evening. And if you don't mind my asking, have you any interest in modeling? What? Oh, no, ma'am. All them eyes staring at me? I couldn't. No way, no how. I get scared just thinking on it. I wish you weren't so shy, my Violet. You truly are beautiful. Aww. I hope your date sees that as clearly as I. I think that's the nicest thing anybody's ever said to me in this game. <laughs> or anyone, really. I can't wait to see them. What can I do? Yeah, I want to trade. <sighs> Refined Byzantine classic wear. Um, can I can I like see what it looks like? Oh, let's sell junk too. Whatever. I th does this? No, oh, no, it's this one. Does it, does this work for you? Is this doing anything for you? 
I can't wait to see those outfits. What can I do for you, darling? Does it, or does it also need a helmet? It, it seems like they all need helmets. Okay, that works. I can just do that. Wait, what else is in there? Oh, ow! I love Byzantium. What else are All right, so what is our next? Oh, I got to talk to her. That's right. Oh, can you believe this outfit? It's so handsome. I'm almost afraid to touch it. Well, I guess that's everything then. After all this time, I can. I just have to actually Relax. do it now. Yeah. You know, there's there's a part Jun Lei's been looking for to fix up the air cyclers. They only carried them on big colony ships. Like the hope. Uh, providing making every little thing perfect won't change uh, Junlei's feelings. I know. For a while, it, it felt like everything I did was a little bit of help. And it meant I didn't have to ask her to be mine. Not yet. Not for real. Next time we dock with Groundbreaker, I'm doing it. All right. Send June a message and ask her over. All right. Oh, this is real scary, Captain. I'm grateful for all you've done. Calm down. It'll be fine. Remember that It'll be very fine. Square. When we return, though, we're going to take Ellie to go home and have her see her family and see how that turns out. But I thank you so much for watching, ladies and gentlemen, citizens of the Empire. Uh, you know, if you're on YouTube, like, comment, subscribe. If you enjoyed on Twitch, drop me a follow if you haven't already. And I will be back in a moment. Mm -hmm.